First thing about this nipple twister is you have to complete Lost to the Ages. Probably wondering, Lost to the Ages? If you don't know what that is, look in the description. I made a guide on how to complete it. Easily done. Easy. Okay, now we're going to head on over to Ruins of Bath Salts. Once here, you'll see a naturally grown boner coming out of the earth. This is when your part comes in. Go inside that boner and pull the golden dildo. Once you've reached the crevice of this sanctum, you'll see that you're underground, okay? Just follow the path all the way down until you reach the forge. Okay, so something handy that could be used for this is Potion of Resist Fire. It's not necessary, but it could be handy. But, on the other hand, something that is necessary, very, very necessary, is become ethereal, ethereal, however it's pronounced. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, now what we're going to do is jump straight into that lava. Put on whatever you got that would be handy. Just make sure you have become ethyl right before you enter the fire and go straight back. There's an island back there that would be on your left. Make sure you're not running and trying to jump because I did that a lot and I was dying. You can't run and jump. Yes, I know. Funny. Now back here on this Zanzibar, there will be a chest. And it sometimes has good items, sometimes it doesn't. I didn't get too lucky. My items aren't so good. But, yes. It could depend on your level, as in the lower level you are, the worse item you'll get. The higher level you are, the better item you'll get. That's just a possibility, though. Okay, so the next destination back here is you're going to have to become ethereal, ethereal, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to have to stay to the right. Going all the way back on the right-hand side, you will find this little gate. And be careful in opening that gate, because that gate can push you off the ledge or off because it's opening toward your direction. So be careful when opening that. I would wait till your shout recharges and then use Ethereal again. As you can see, I was a, you know, a daredevil and I just went ahead and opened it. Okay, so once your shout has recharged, just keep following the path and going up and you'll find this hidden chest that's underneath rubble. It looks like kind of buried into the rubble. You normally won't get no good loot out of this, but hey, if you're one of those adventurers that just like to travel around finding secrets and uncovering hidden chests, well, here it is for you. Okay, so next destination we will embark. Basically, we are doing one big circle. Okay, or triangle formation kind of thing. Anyways, you're back at the forge. Go on the right side of the forge now using your shout. That makes you invincible. And head on over to the gate on the far right side. You just went on to the gate that was on the far left side. So now you're going to go over to the far right side. Once again, be careful on opening the gates. They will push you off into the lava and you will die. So be careful on that. Now just head on toward the path and you'll find a chest that's open. And sometimes you can get good items out of this one. I got a decent item out of this one. But hey, I guess it's the luck of the draw or your level once again. If you guys got any guides or secrets that you know of and want me to do a guide on or a tutorial on, let me know about it and I will keep that in high consideration. I hope this guide has helped everybody find these chests. And once again, Rifle Gaming is out. Peace out, Girl Scouts back at Skyrim but I need more ideas on what I should do on Skyrim so if you guys could help me out that will be highly appreciated in my mind of madness